There's a little guy right there. Firefly. Cool little creature. Outstanding. Okay, so I want to talk about this whole uh, leaves of three, leave them be thing. I hear it justified as a good rule of thumb for people who are not good at identifying plants to be cautious and stay away from poison ivy. However, I want to point out that there is uh, a cost to being overly cautious. And I think that that's exactly what this rule causes, is an overabundance of caution that does have a cost to it. So I want to walk through and just sort of point out some examples in various plants around my yard and in the neighborhood uh, that are in clear defiance of this. Um, here's an example right here. While not the whole plant has leaves of three, these top two leaves right here are leaves of three. Um, I want to point this out because this is a hickory. Hickories have pinnate leaves. Some of them, this the, this species, I think this is a mocker nut hickory. I may be incorrect about that, but we do have those in the woods. We also have a few other types, shagbark hickory. I'm not sure which one this is, but most of the hickory family, if not all, has this sort of compound leaf, which is called a pinnate leaf. Uh, this is not a branch with leaves on it. This is, this whole thing is a leaf. And these are leaflets. It has five leaflets here. These top two leaves, for whatever reason, only have three. And this is a very common thing with species that have pinnate leaves. And lots of species have pinnate leaves. Here's yet another plant with leaves of three. You see right there. Leaves of three. Oh, leaves of three, leave them be. But this one has thorns. Hey, maple, maple. Chill. Hey, scoot, scoot, scoot. You get to see the cute dog here. Cute little doggy. That's maple. Stay out, maple. Yeah. Just go somewhere. Play over there, okay? Play over there. All right, anyway. Yeah, look at my smashed toe, too. All kinds of stuff in this video. All right, leaves of three. But this one has thorns. And the leaves have this extremely serrated margin to them. This is a bramble. This is in the rubus genus. This is nowhere near related to uh, poison ivy. This is more related to apples. And clearly also blackberries, because it's a blackberry. Leaves of three. Oh, that actually even looks a lot like poison ivy, but it's not. Um, we can tell this one has tendrils. And if I could get a decent view of one of those tendrils, it's kind of like this uh, frog finger pad thing that it does. With these adhesive tips to the tendrils. Um, but anyway, looks looks actually quite a bit like poison ivy, but you know, it's not. It's in the it's in the grape family. And there's a leaf of four, there's a leaf of five. This is what the leaves sort of normally look like. But there's a leaf of three right next to a leaf of five on the same plant. That's on the same plant. That is Virginia creeper. It's in the grape family. But this plant that's sort of covering this whole area here is Clitoria mariana. Once again, leaves of three, bean family. Um, beautiful, weird flowers. Uh, there's sort of a banner wings and keel structure there that's very common in the bean family, but it has this enormous keel here. It's just the dominant structure on that plant. Look at that. Let's see. Huge keel. There your wings. Banner's very reduced. Anyway, beautiful flower there. Leaves of three, not poison ivy. It's a bean. Another problem with the whole leaves of three, leave them be thing is that a lot of times people don't really know what leaves of three means. Um, what about this? Is this leaves of three? There's three leaves. And they're sort of joined at us at sort of a similar point. But that's actually not leaves that they're maple. 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 Yes, you're cute. Go away. 
they're sort of joining the same <laughs> maple stop stop they're sort of joined in the same area uh, did you hear my knees crack that's a uh, old people sounds there um, but these this is just an oak this is just an oak seedling um, there it is rooted into the ground right there these leaves just happen to be there's just there just happens to be very little internodal space right there on this plant that's just an oak that's definitely leaves of three right wouldn't want to be touching that nothing to do with this plant it's a strawberry you see the little strawberries developing there oh that's actually kind of a decent sized one this one looks like it got pollinated very weirdly yeah leaves of three strawberries this plant here is a terrible plant it is an ivy it is not poison ivy um, you see most of the leaves here are gonna have sort of five points to them uh, but some of them have three points to them and if your goal is to caution you know give a, a sort of rule of thumb to people who um, uh, don't know much about identifying plants aren't familiar with them well what does leaves of three mean leaves of three points is this three leaves just sort of joined together what is this is it it's it's just not a good rule it's just way too general the cost of caution that i just mentioned i, I just want to touch on that a little bit because it's it you know if people are not familiar with nature if they're not uh, good at identifying plants if you say something as basic as well plants with leaves of three will give you a rash we can look at maple while i do this rant will give you a rash they plants with leaves of three are, are they're coming to kill your whole family well people might not go out into nature because you step out your front door in this case the back gate and you see something that looks like leaves of three, like that ivy there, once again, this young hickory here, leaves of three everywhere. You might just get terrified and go back in the house. So that's a cost. That's a cost to being overly cautious. You may miss out on life. Okay, so what is poison ivy? We've seen a lot of examples of what is not poison ivy. What is poison ivy? This. This is poison ivy. There's sort of a vine draped on the ground right here. I'm assuming it was probably growing up a tree over here. I'm going to knock it off the path here so other people don't run into it. Um, but this is poison ivy. Um, the One of the ways to identify it and differentiate it from some of the other plants that we've talked about is the fact that the leaves are alternate. I don't know, I don't have a hard time getting close enough here, but you can see that those leaves are not in pairs across from each other. One leaf comes out and then further down the branch, another leaf comes out the other side. Um, this is opposed to some of the other plants that we've seen where leaves come in sort of opposite pairs. Um, another thing is that these are compound leaves um, so there's this isn't a leaf and a leaf and a leaf separately this whole thing is a leaf on a single petiole it's just divided this is called a pinnate leaf uh, trifoliate leaf um, it has a node coming off of the main branch down here and this whole thing is a leaf with three leaflets and one of the things that will distinguish poison ivy from other plants is that this leaf and this leaf very closely attach. They very closely attach. Very little petiole right there. However, this leaf, the end leaf, the terminal leaflet, has a longer section of petiole right there. That's a good giveaway that this is poison ivy. Also, we can't rely on this all the time. There is leaf variability in all plants, but this one has a good example of the little mittens, the little thumb of the mitten that you hear people talk about quite a bit. You see that little notch right there, looks like a thumb, 
on a mitten. Here's a nice example of the leaf variability of poison ivy on the same plant. So this little seedling maybe, or maybe it's a sucker off a of underground root, um, has three leaves. Two of them look very different. This one has the classic little mittens, little thumbs on the mitten. This one has nearly smooth leaves all around on the same plant. People talk about poison ivy changing shape. They talk about it as if it's some sort of boogeyman, like it's gonna, you know, it's just a transformer. It'll morph into something that looks completely unrelated to itself so it can get you. Um, but that's just not the case. I mean, it has variability in the leaves, but all plants have variability in the leaves. Then, when they become mature, they attach and start to grow up a tree, the vine is hairy, very hairy. It has these little sort of uh, aerial roots that root into the bark. Well, they don't really root into the bark. They, they adhere to the bark to give the plant some stability. There's the leaf there. Um, it's uh, sort of your reaction is cumulative. It builds up over time. I don't know if you can see, but these branches that are sticking out are not part of that tree. This is the poison ivy. The canopy above me is essentially poison ivy. That is a big one. 